In this clip, I'll show you how to perform an auxiliary regression in eViews. So here's our great data set. Let's start with the regression where we try to explain the semester 2 exam results by means of using semester 2 test, semester 1 exam and semester 1 test. So we we'll open that as an equation and run this and here's our regression result. Okay. So if you compare that to what we had in the lecture slides, in lecture one, in lecture slide one, uh, this is exactly the same result here as on this slide, R square is 66 uh, percent. That's what we have here. So now we want to test whether the semester one grades, whether these are relevant or not. So, and how you can do that in eViews is first by using the F-test. The way how you would do that here in eViews is you go to View, Coefficient Diagnostics, Redundant Variables Test. So we want to see whether particular variables are redundant, can be omitted. So the two variables which we want to test for B, whether we can omit them, are SEM1 exam and SEM1 test. So we'll just enter them in the list here. We press OK and what we here get is an F test. So we are testing two restrictions. So here are the degrees of freedom, 233. The test statistic is 18 and that gives us a p-value of virtually zero. So we cannot, uh, we, we can reject the null hypothesis. So restricting these two doesn't seem like a sensible idea. So basically we now want to come to the same conclusion using an auxiliary regression. Really we wouldn't want to do it for this problem because we know how to do it using the F-test, but we want to learn the technique. So let's go back to the estimation output and um, I shall save this as MU for model unrestricted. And now we will first estimate the restricted model. The restricted model basically omits these two semester one variables. So our new model is semester two exam as a function of semester two test. We open this and we run this model. Okay, so let's go to our lecture slides and go to the auxiliary regression slide. What we said is we want to estimate the restricted model so we have just done that. We estimated the restricted model and now we want to obtain the estimated residuals. How you do that in eView, eViews is the following. The easiest way to do it is with the following. You go to PROC and choose the option Make Residual Series. And we, you give them a name and we could call them residuals underscore R for restricted. And now you see that in your here we now have this series, residuals are. So once we can delete this equation, okay, cancel. So once you have these residuals, you can now go to step number two, where we regress these residuals on a constant and all our variables, including the ones which we are considering dropping. So here our explanatory variables are semester two test, semester one test, semester one exam. Okay, so this is our regression. So you can see here res r is our dependent variable. We have all three variables. So semester two test, which was the variable we had included, and the two semester one test variables, which we are considering to exclude. So now what we have here, 0.217221, this is now the r squared from the auxiliary regression. Okay, so what we need from here is the obtain the R squared from this regression. And then what we do is we calculate the test statistic, LM test, N times R squared. So 
So let's calculate that statistic. If you want to do that in eViews, you can use a calculator, but let's say we want to do that in eViews. The easiest way is to go up here into your little command window. You say you want to define a scalar, which is called LM, and that is 137, which is the number of observations, times the R squared from that auxiliary regression 0.217221. And you can see there's a new object here called LM. If you double click on it, here we get the test statistic, 29.76 approximately. And now what you need to do is you need to compare that against the critical value from a chi-square distribution. In our case, we have two restrictions, okay, an R of equal to two because we tested for the exclusion of two variables. So let's get that critical value. So for r equals 2 in our case, because we considered excluding two variables. So here is the chi-squared distribution. Let's say we are looking at 5% significance level, two restrictions. Critical value is 5.9915. Now we have a right tail test, so we are rejecting h naught which is validity of the restriction, if our test statistic is larger than that critical value. Our test statistic was 29, that's comfortably larger than the critical value. So we reject the null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis was that we could reject these two semester one variables. So we can't do that, which is exactly the same result as we got from the F-test.